Hi everyone, uh, I'm Tsuyoshi Haller. I originally came from Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is far east. Um, I'm a PhD student of public administration and policy at here FSU. Um, my background is international development field. Uh, I work for a Japanese government agency we call Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. Uh, is executing agency of Japanese official development assistance for developing countries. Um, you are very familiar with maybe USA, World Bank, or Asian Development Bank, or United Nations Development Program, UNDP. Uh, JICA is one of the development partners to deliver the services to developing countries. Um, through the work for 14 years, um, I worked with many bureaucrats in developing countries and they try to work very hard to deliver good services, good public services to the people. And I thought that I would like to learn more in depth how to deliver the public services effectively, efficiently, and sustainably. So that's why I chose FSU to learn public administration and policy more. There are two main reasons why I chose FSU. First, the quality of the department, and second is living environment. Uh, first and foremost, when I thought I would like to go to the PhD program of public administration, uh, unfortunately, there was no program in Japan. So I decided to go abroad. But where should I go? It was so tough question for me. But I was so inspired by the PhD program of ASCII school here at FSU. Uh, by the way, um, we call the Department of Public Administration and Policy as ASCII school uh, because we respect for Rubin ASCII. Uh, he was the 37th governor of Florida from 1971 to 1979, and he was one of the uh, New South governors to promote civil rights and to bring higher transparency in the public administration. So taking his legacy, the department decided to name ASCII school of the name of the school. And I also respect for him. And so many professors, very excellent professors are gathering here. And in 2015, um, some scholars uh, try to measure the quality of PhD program in the field of public administration all over the world and uh, count very highly reputable journals uh, who, which professor from which university uh, published good paper and uh, I was so surprised because the FSU was ranked in top three university all over the world. So I was so inspired by this fact because uh, this fact affects directly to the quality of PhD program as well. So that's why I chose to go uh, PhD program here. Uh, well, I came to FSU uh, spring 2018 and I worked for the major uh, subject of PhD program and at the same time I went to um, English intensive classes to polish my English, CIES. Um, CIES has very structured program of English, um, starting from writing in the morning, uh, following by grammar, reading, um, speaking, and listening. And the most English learner here, CIES, um, would like to go to the university in the United States. So we could encourage and study with each other. And um, many excellent instructors trained me how to read academic article, how to write essays with correct grammar, uh, how to I mean, summarize academic lecture, and how to make a good presentation. So these pieces of uh, learning or teaching are very beneficial for me to learn in FSU classes. ASCII School FSU has very good PhD program. Um, there are many uh, subjective courses 
um, starting from how to research or how to use methodology. But not only that, uh, we can learn the theoretical background of the behavior of the organizations or um, how to collaborate each other to make a good result or performance. One of my favorite lectures was taught by Dr. Clay. Um, he taught me the history of public administration in the United States um, after the American War of Independence. Um, how to shape the public administration by very famous people studying from George Washington, uh, Woodrow Wilson, uh, Frederick Taylor, or Max Weber, those kind of famous people, how to act, to think about, make a good administration system to deliver good public services. Um, he taught me um, not only the history, but also how to think about the future, because uh, we are living here, but we have to uh, work for the future people or future society. And um, the intellectual history was one of the very important knowledge to think about the future. So he taught us, not, not only the American student, but also the international student, how to think about the future, our future. So um, unfortunately, he is retired um, spring 2019, but um, his teachings are inscribed in my mind and I would like to keep um, thinking myself, how can I do uh, for better tomorrow uh, in terms of development of public administration? Ephesio is a very good place. Um, the atmosphere is so nice. Um, the campus is very comfortable. Lots of green heal me always. And also, uh, there are a lot of resources and information to support me. For example, I could get all literature and books free of charge through FSU library um, because um, in case of PhD program here, uh, I have to read more than 200 articles per semester. So rich and um, very good information make me possible to study hard. And also, there are so many diverse people here, and always they make me fun. So, here is a very nice place. I would like to recommend you to come here.